Welcome to our lecture online. Now the following integral, the integral of the sine square of x divided by the cosine to the fourth power of x dx is actually a fairly challenging problem. And so we already started some pre-work here. We're going to now write the numerator as 1 minus the cosine, cosine square of x in such a way that we can write as two separate integrals. So now it comes down to integrating 1 over the cosine to the fourth power of x and integrating 1 over the cosine square of x. So let's start with 1 over the cosine square of x. So the trick here is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over the sine square of x, 1 over the sine square of x, in such a way that this now becomes the integral of 1 over the sine square of x divided by the cosine divided by sine is the cotangent, so this becomes the cotangent, not the cosine, but the cotangent square of x. Of course, we still have a dx there. So now, if you let u equal the cotangent of x, so let u equal the cotangent of x, then du will be equal to 1 over, actually, negative 1 over the sine square of x dx. And so notice all we need in the numerator is a negative sign. So let's go ahead and put a negative sign up there and a negative sign in front. And so now we realize that this, when we come over here, is going to be equal to the integral of, a minus integral of du in the numerator divided by u squared in the denominator. So that's fairly easy to integrate. That becomes equal to uh, 1 over, that becomes, oh, of course, we're not going to have an integral once we integrate. So that's now going to become equal to 1 over u divided by negative 1, and this negative 1 will cancel out this negative 1, so it's actually plus 1 over u plus a constant of integration. And since u was equal to the cotangent of x, this becomes equal to 1 over the cotangent of x plus the constant of integration, or this becomes equal to the tangent of x plus the constant of integration. So now we've taken care of the integral on the right, and of course we're going to be subtracting this from what we have over here. Now this one, 1 over the cosine to the fourth power of x, is a little bit more difficult to do. What we need to do there is as follows. So the integral of 1 over the cosine to the fourth of x dx can be written as the product of 1 over the cosine square of x times 1 over the cosine square of x times dx. Now, the next step is kind of out of the ordinary because you would not think of doing that, but it's definitely one way to do it. We're going to let u equal the tangent of x. I said, well, wait a minute, why did I do that? Well, follow, follow this through and see what happens. So if we let u equals the tangent of x, then du will be equal to, that would be, let's see, that would be equal to 1 over, the positive 1 over the cosine square of x dx. <clears throat> So the tangent is a sine over the cosine, so we end up with uh, the sine squared plus the cosine squared in the numerator divided by the cosine squared in the denominator, so 1 over the cosine squared dx. Now notice that this portion right here is du. So this cannot be replaced by du, but now you're looking at this and go, well, wait a minute, how do I go from 1 over the cosine square of x to u equals the tangent of x? Hmm. Well, let's see here. Let's go u squared. u squared is equal to the tangent square of x, which is equal to the sine square of x divided by the cosine square of x. And of course, the sine square of x can be written as 1 minus the cosine square of x divided by the cosine square of x, which means that, let's see here, when we simplify this even a little bit more, so this can be written as 1 over the cosine square of x minus 1. And that was equal to u squared. 
So now when we bring the negative 1 over to the other side, we can see that u squared plus 1 can be written as 1 over the cosine square of x. So that means that this here can be replaced by u squared minus 1, and this here can be replaced by du. So now what we have is this becomes equal to the integral of u squared plus 1 times du. And so something that looked like it was really hard, through an interesting trick, we're able to convert it to something that's really easy to integrate. So now we can go ahead and do this. This becomes equal to u cubed over 3 plus u plus another constant of integration. Let's call it c2. And now all we have to do is replace u by what u is equal to. And then we have to subtract the second integral from the first integral, and we have the answer. So this becomes equal to 1 third times the tangent cube of x plus the tangent of x plus a constant of integration. And finally, now we take the total, the total integral, which means we're going to take this and subtract this from it. So let's back this up here. So we're going to take the result of the first integral and subtract from that the result of the second integral, which means that this total result now will become one third times the tangent cube of x plus the tangent of x plus a constant of integration. Hmm, well, okay, I call that c1 and c2, but I guess that's okay. And subtract from that the tangent of x minus c1, and of course, when we take c2 minus c1, we just get another, we get another uh, constant, and the tangent of x cancel out, so this is simply one-third the tangent cube of x plus some constant of integration, and this is the final answer for that particular integral. So it takes a little work to get there, but notice how nicely it compacts down to the answer of one-third times the tangent cube of x, and that's how it's done.